Hello everybody, welcome back to Mist 3 Exile We still have one little thing to light up and I was just unable to get into that friggin' door last time But I, I found the solution because this is just locked Locked as hell, C can't get in It's like that club you, you always hear about, you just can't get in Okay, um, I found the solution because I, I I put my thinking cap on, guys. I put it on. I made a gesture too that you can't see. I, I I put my thinking cap on. I thought, hey, you know what would lock that door? Certainly nothing back there. Certainly something that's behind that door. And the only way to get behind the door is from this side, right? So I, I started exploring. Where can I go? I found something, guys. I found something. Without the pressure of recording, everything is much easier. Look at this. This this here thing is a ladder. You probably saw that. I didn't. I'm a dumbass. Okay, now I'm up here. Now what? Ooh, more, more laddery things. We have a better look onto this airship. Oh, pages. Okay, yeah, very cool. Thank you. I don't care. Oh, open it up. Open it up. Aha! Looks like a maintenance hatch or something. Mm. Ah, see, see, we've not been here. We're going in the right direction in this very skull-looking thing. Looks like this uh, transports steam over there. That we will make from the lava. Because I remember there being a lava puzzle. That seems very narrow for a human to fit through. This seems even narrower. Do I go in here? <coughs> oh yeah, there's nothing back here. Oh, they're closed again. Come on, just leave that stuff open, man. It's only you in this world. Ah, <sighs> uh -huh, light. Oh, that's dark. Uh huh. Ah, no. Okay, there's nothing there. Let's get down. Everybody, get down. Hey. Uh huh. Yeah, see. Yeah, see, it's locked from the inside. Indeed, it is. Okay, here we go. The lava chamber. Magma. It's technically underground, but it's not inside your. Uh, I don't know. Okay, of course the easy way is blocked. So let's try it counterclockwise. That closed something. Can I enter there somehow? What? What what just happened? What just happened? Oh. Did How did I not see this door before? What the Something happened. Ha, huh, I'm in here now. There was some lava. Oh. oh. So this this thing up there controls this uh, up and down movement. And Aha. Aha, turns it around. It also may open this. And what does this do? What? Nothing? Nope. Down. What does it do? Oh, it turns! Oh my god. Oh my god! That's so dangerous. Now, of course, I can't go back. Um, the thing to the left is now open, right? That hatch is now open.
Oh, did not see that coming. Uh, I don't know. Oh my god. You know how hot it would be in here? Oh, what's happening? What did I do now? I feel like I'm messing things up. Don't hit my head, thank you. Ah, I don't know, guys. Things, things are happening. Aha! Look at that. Uh, this is closed. This is turned somehow. Oh, wow! Flaming, flaming guys. With my sons. Not popular. Wow, this is just dangerous. Who would design such a thing? Get inside. Let's turn on this. So did that open both of them up? It certainly looked like it. Let's see. Let's see if we get choose flow. And otherwise, I, I did something wrong. I apologize. But we may have to. Oh, I didn't watch the time. Oh well. Steps uh, may be a bit short, maybe a bit long. I'm sorry. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. It's the same content. Ah, I hear things. Ah, it's it's pressurized. Okay, yeah, we got it. We got it. Float. Oh, this is broken. Of course it's broken. Why wouldn't it not? Why would it not be broken? Okay, this guy makes pressure go up by I don't know where it was before. It's on this big line. It's on this 10. 10 bar? Pascal? I don't know. This guy makes it go up. Also, then? How am I supposed to? Oh my gosh! That was the overflow valve. Oh, wait, wait, wait a second. Wait a second. This is not all, is it? So these guys make it a uh, 10 difference. But I think I can go up now, right? No? I thought I could. Can I not? What's happening here? Do I need more more pressure? To lift my fat ass off here? Oh, we're we're happening. We are indeed happening. Aha! So wait, I gotta I gotta write this down. I, I got I gotta put my thinking cap on. We got uh ten by default. That's the lowest we can go. We have three times a ten that we can vary. These folks up here make it four, and I got four times a four. And I'm guessing I gotta go to the red, so I can move on up one more. Because I, th I think there's three. Yeah, we're going up one more. Moving on up in the world, literally. And these guys, maybe one. Yes, indeed. And I got all four of them. Four times one. And I need 
five, six, seven, eight, nine. I need nine in addition. Well, that's one of these closed. I like it, steam powered elevation. I need two of these closed. Right, because that's that's eight and that's nine. And then I need to open all three of them downstairs and that should do trick. Math! Ha! Fantastic! Open her up. Open her up. Already can see this is gonna work. You're gonna find the right pressure. Look at it, look at it, look at it, look at it, look at it. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, see? And it's not gonna go into the overflow, over pressure. It's blowing up the balloon, isn't it? It's blowing up the balloon. Ah! Look at it! Choo -choo -choo -choo. Oh, beautiful. Oh, it's off the hook! Like, <laughs> see? L literally. Oh, it's gonna crash. Mm. Oh, yeah! You're stuck, dude! I'm gonna make you unstuck in a second here. So, see, see we did it! We did it! Guys, thank you so much for your help. Even though, you know, you didn't. Not because you couldn't, but because it didn't give you a chance. I know. I, I, I'm i uh, I'm a cruel guy. I should live stream this. You know how much fun that will be? Me losing it on the stream? Chew! Anyway, back to the gondola. At least I think that... Ooh, pages. I'm not reading this. There's probably a transcript on the internet somewhere. You can read it if you want. It's that maniac guy's uh, a journal. But we are very close to the end of Voltaic. The second age we did. Well, technically the first age we really did ourselves. Take me, take me, hello! If you know anything about these games, you know that they got some beautiful ride sequences. Mainly, uh, Riven. Oh, those roller coaster type rides. Amazing. But this here is a little. Pull on your belts, kids! We're going for a ride! Uh, this is this is a, a little uh, scenic route we're gonna take through the rocks. Mm, very nice. Looks like New Mexico or Arizona or Utah. I've been to Utah. They got shit like that all over the place. And it certainly looks cool. Ah, uh, we're going to the outside again, back to where we started. Uh, what, what good does that us? You will see in a second. There's that water we turned on for juice. And we get over here. And this is going to be volatile a little bit. A little bit on the hard side on the braking. I uh, gotta, gotta get some uh, minus points for the ride here. Ew. Livers. Ah, turning around. See? Now we have the power to turn this around and put juice to it. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! We shouldn't have done that! Ew. So that's where the electromagnet came from. Woo! Oh my good lord. Did you look at that? Wow! Kinda cool! Kinda cool! So, well, um, that was extreme. We, uh, 
connected the the cable that gives us the juice the electricity question is where the hell do I get down ain't no room Where the hell do I get down, man? I don't know. Now, you will remember that electricity uh, puts up these stones from the first. Do I pull this? Ah, yes. Overfly away! Electricity floats stones. Oh, see what it did there? It it got rid of the book to back to Jananin. But in the beginning, in the lab, we had this electricity thing that opened the flower and also made rocks all floaty. This is kind of a hint to this age. Whew. Would you look at? That down here. Oh. Down here. Look at it. Look at it. What? Oh, this is so cool. We got the second symbol. We did it. Where's the book? That's not the book. Here's the book. Nice contraption. Very intricate. Say goodbye to Voltaic, guys. Bye, Voltaic. And we go back to Jnanin. Back to the land of tusks. Oh, look, it's my intro. beautiful I'm hoping for an HD remake of this game so everybody can enjoy it in like beautiful 3d HD okay there's probably a monologue coming up here from Saavedro but we're getting closer to the book not sure if it's really shun but we're getting closer Uh huh. Yeah. Look at it. This what you expected, Atrus? Yes. When you followed me here, hoping to reclaim relation. Yes. This classroom, what you expected? To yes. Find. I read your journal, you know, in Tamana. After I found your linking book abandoned outside this observatory. Okay. I read all about the Dunning. Okay. How you started their world again. Cool. Can you really do that, Atrus? Yes. After everything that's happened to Narayan? Yes. Could you start the world over again? Yes. I don't think so. I think so. I think there's too much blood on our hands, too many ghosts. No. Surely you can't change that with a pen stroke. Yes, I can. One more symbol, Atrus. Yes. Narayan is waiting. Yes. Alright. You know, the longer I'm playing this, the more I get the feeling I really should have played the first games first. <laughs> to get my backstory straight, or uh, at least read up on it. But you know me. That's not my style. I'm just jumping in there. You know, feet first. Is that a thing? But, ah, we're going to my favorite age, guys. It's a hard age. But it's my favorite age. It's got the coolest... It's got, it's got the coolest gadgets. And, of course, everything is open for us already. So, no thinking involved here. Oh, wow, very pretty. Look at the reflection in this polished stone... Man, I want to say some scientific name. But of course I don't know stones. 
Damn it, well, it's time for the best age ever, Amateria. It's gonna take long. But look at it, look at it already. Oh, I mean, oh, oh can you can you feel the joy? I'm I'm so full of joy. I'm already I'm already panicking because I know I can't do this stuff. But I'm so full of joy. Just oh, mm. okay, there's tracks, there's there's crystals, and everything is so mechanicy. Ooh, oh look at that. Mm. This little. Little, little dens. You have no idea what to do. So, ah. Uh, oh, hello. Clonk, that's wrong. Our goal: get in the middle of this thing. But there's tracks missing, and. For some re oh well, they're not missing there. You know, turned down. For some reason, we can't walk on these guys or jump or anything. But I'm not questioning the magic behind this. But we. <coughs> <coughs> sorry, sorry. <coughs> that came unexpected. Somehow we need to figure out the correct code here. These hexagons. And we don't have a lot to go. Off, off. We can go down here. We can go over here, and I don't actually know what the better path is. But I'm gonna go here. That's nothing. Look at how beautiful everything is. I mean, can you not fall in love with this place? I don't think you can. I don't think you can go down here either. Ah, around. Goes all around loops, and there's a stairway. Uh huh. Okay. Got to look at everything twice and three times, and just not. We're not missing anything this time. That's no promise whatsoever. Not even close to a promise. We can go left. We can go right. You know me. We're going right. Oh, nice music. Probably gonna get a copyright strike again. Oh. Copyright strike. Speaking of it, I disputed the copyright because this, it's not the song they were saying. You know, if you don't know, I had a I had a content ID match on my first video, and I said no, it's not the song because well, it's not the song. You know, and. Is it? No? No, it, it? Screw you. And there's basically nothing I can do short of going to court. And that's not worth it. So, I lost. I feel bad about it. Here we go. First puzzle. That's a good one. Yeah, that's fine. It's a fine starter puzzle. I wish I had some sort of idea where this is going, but basically what we gotta do, you don't know this yet, but there's gonna be a ball coming through this track. Well, that may, it may be actually obvious. And you need to see that it doesn't get destroyed on the way back. And the, the thing is, these guys are a resonating kind of thing. Oh my god. This you, oh god. And you can kind of see how it's resonating. You, you hear it changing tones. Oh my god. And you see it changing the pattern. Now I'm not sure as to where to know ah. this pattern but there must be something to to get it figured out so let's maybe go to the exit of it you see these panels are everywhere um 
ball is going back into here. Okay, well. That's not helping me out too much. Can't go anywhere. Is this not a walkway? Come on. Oh, yeah, it is. There we go. Hmm. How do I figure out sh sh what to do? Oh, something is a rumbling. Nope, not through there. Come on, I want to go through there. Ooh, crystals. Is this another puzzle? We want to solve the puzzle first that I'm that I can solve first. So. I'll get used to that. Wait, I'm back here. Did I did I loop around? I think I may have looped around. Well, okay. That's something. Uh, let's go again. And this time, take like different routes. Yeah. I've yet to see like a single control panel. To actually do something big. Wait, there was an elevator in here, wasn't there? Is that another cave? That must have been another cave. I'm getting turned around already. Ah, we went to the right. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, I know things. I can retain some basic memory stuff in my in my brains. Oh, oh, hello. Is this just a looky loo? Oh, no, oh, no, oh, this is a ball. This is a ball that needs to be written down. This is crystal and wood and wood and wood. You will see why this is important soon. This is like the counterweight or this is the weight and we gotta figure out the counterweight and you will see why and how and things like that plonk alrighty I think this is the first puzzle we're gonna solve then my favorite puzzle here we go here's like one of those consoles here's like one of those consoles what did th that made no sense here's one of those consoles did I not close my email client? Well, apparently not. Now, we got three settings for the wheel. Here, and when we... Here we go. Here's why everybody lost this... This world. So it makes a ball. Finds its way over here. This gets weighed. And the ball gets shattered. And everything is sent back. Now we need to figure out some way to get this all level. As to not destroy the ball. Let's see what happens with the thing in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. Counterweights. So we got three positions here. Maybe, maybe I should like, write this down. I don't know what good it does. It it's sometimes good to visualize things. Ooh, ooh, things are things are happening in here. Rumble. Oh, look at that. oh, isn't it beautiful? Mm, does it have like effects? Oh yeah. Ah, <laughs> look at that. Amazing. Ooh. Very narrow door. In here, we see the counterweight. With metal, with wood, with crystal. And no explanation as to how... Uh, how... What, what, what was I saying? How, uh... Oh my god, how can I not remember this word? See this? 
Um, how... Oh my god! How heavy they are! There we go. Okay. Um, in the beginning of the world... In the beginning of the Let's Play, we've seen the reference for this. I don't think it's written down, and I didn't write it down, that's for sure. So I'm gonna need to look at that again real quick. So I watched back the first episode, well only part of it, and turns out one metal ball is as heavy as four crystal balls. And four crystal balls are, no, one crystal ball is as heavy as four crystal balls. Meaning, I can assign values here. Is this wood? Certainly looks like wood. We know that, oh, you know what, we only know half of the other ball. Okay, so we can assign wood a unit of heaviness of one, which means crystal has four heaviness and metal has 16 heaviness. Alright, wrote that down. Gonna do some math now. Well, we know that one half of this sphere. Can I look at it from a different angle? Because we know only half, and that's. Well, literally only half the puzzle. Let's go elevate ourselves and see if there's anything more to see. Because as we are, half of this is 4 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 weight units this guy 4 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 which means 7 on this half I can try to make it 7 it looks very woody over here as well I don't know if I can trust this let's give it a cautious 3 fourth of it weigh Nine. The other fourth, your the other quarter is anywhere between two and thirty-two heavy. So a lot of a lot of room to play with. We're gonna make it what we know. Seven. Seven is what we know. So we got four in here, we need another three. We can't do that. Hmm, interesting. That's why we got the three positions. Oh man, I don't know. Now it gets complicated. May have to do this next time. Let's go with this for now. This is... Oh, let's go... Can we go double? Like ten more, eight, and one. Yeah, this is. Is this wait eight plus? F eight, yeah, eight plus six. Yeah, we are doubling the weight of what we know. Hmm. So, let's try Oh, we can see it over here! The other half is all wooden. Okay, we can see it. So the other half is all wooden. And that puts us to a total of Four more, that's eleven. I know the episode is running long, but I really want to do this. 
11. So the double would be 22. I don't know if if it's exactly like double. But maybe, maybe can we get 22? I think we can. We got four. We got twenty. I hope you're following in your mind because this is quite quite interesting to me. I hope I'm not making leaps that are not really understandable. Okay. We got I think what is the same weight. So let's keep it in the middle. Let's see, maybe we are right. Maybe we are not. If not, I'm gonna have to uh, keep at it for next episode. But let's pray! Ah, too heavy! Hmm. Why is it too heavy? I don't know. Well, I'm gonna... I'm gonna get my thinking cap on again. And gotta say goodbye to you here the episode is really running long I thank you very much for watching though I hope you enjoyed it in my favorite age I'm so excited and I'll see you next time guys bye <laughs>